Dang it, I had no idea about that. Wait, what? What is this? Oh my, what the heck is this? Oh, I missed. Are you kidding me, bro? Jesus. I think he's talking about the one that we already opened. A secret line submerged beneath the moat in the east of the Iron Witch. Opening it will require bringing an open flame to the East Garden. Behind the powerful witch's house lies a secret, accessible from the west side. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> Seriously, this is kind of epic. Hello everybody and welcome back to Death's Door. My name is of course Constantine and when we left off in the previous episode, we just managed to defeat the Frog King and uh, we also got ourselves a brand new ability, uh, this one right here that I'm changing on the left uh, screen. Now with this one we are going to be able to bash through more walls and explore more locations that we couldn't before. So uh, what I'm guessing is that I'm probably going to have to go to the Lost Cemetery or... The Grove of Spirits here, yeah, I'm probably gonna have to go here and uh, keep on exploring new areas because uh, there was definitely more locations that I had to open up using this brand new ability that we just got. So, let me make my way through uh, here. There we go. Uh, and now we are at the Lost Cemetery. And of course, this is where we can actually now start using our brand new ability. Uh, to keep on unlocking new places. Now the thing is, I am going to have to go looking around a little bit more here. Trying to figure out where I got to go next. I know that this one is not going to take me any new location. Let's just see uh, what walls I had to bash through actually. Because there have to be some more walls that I got to open up. Alright, so as I was going through here, I actually discovered that. Look at this. Apparently this is the similar building that we were looking for. And this one's going to be hiding a secret inside. This is a twin building that we actually discovered in uh, a previous episode. And apparently this one has a flower in it. Look at that. You found an undying blossom. Its stagnant aura is telling of the strange state of the islands. There we go. We got a brand new collectible. I'm really curious how many collectibles there are actually in this game. Because uh, although we keep on playing the game here, uh, I don't really have any information of how many collectibles there might be in this game. Uh, but I'm really happy that I keep on finding them really randomly though. Really, really randomly. Right now, the reason I'm going up here is because I can actually make my way through here. And let's keep on going because this is where all those spiders were located. And if I'm not mistaken, I actually needed this brand new ability that we just got in order to bash through uh, new enemies. Or new walls, I should say, actually. So if I keep on going through here, I know I can uh, definitely fight with uh, all these spiders if I want to. The thing is, I don't really want to. All, not, all I want to right now is just uh, unlock new places that I gotta check out. So this one is taking me to here. And yes, although I have the ability to use that and destroy that, the problem is I don't have the ability to actually use this cross and go to the other side, unfortunately. So I still need to get myself a brand new ability before I'm gonna be able to uh, keep on going here. Alright buddy, let's get out of here then. Let's keep on going. I absolutely love this uh, hammer though. It's so powerful. Look at that. I'm so destroying them right now. They stand no chance against us. Alright, and we're back out. So let's get out of here. So, now that we're done with uh, this one, uh, I think I gotta go exploring a little bit this way. I know that there was, like, um, something that I could have done. Let me just check here for a second. I know that there is another passageway that, gotta, that we gotta take. And also, there is that passageway, but of course, in order to go through that sewer, I'm gonna need the ability, again, to use the crosses, which I'm not sure how to do. So, next up, uh, I believe there is yet another passage, the ultimate one, that's going to be somewhere on the left side around here somewhere. So let me see if we can figure it out. Now, if I'm going to take this one uh, to the summit, let's see. I feel like this is where we got to go next, yeah. Ooh, actually, hold up. Before I go here, I remember there is another passageway right here at the bottom. Yeah, look at that, that we have to open. And if I use this one, 
Oh, if you're standing too close to it, you're also getting damaged. Dang it, I had no idea about that. Wait, what? What is this? Oh my, what the heck is this? Oh, I missed. Are you kidding me, bro? Jesus. Wow. Um, wait, what's happening? Oh, he's taking away the ability for me to actually attack. Are you kidding me? Wow, this guy is no joke. Right, never mind. Let's try that again. This guy is no joke. And this is actually not the first time I try again because I already died uh, a few more times. Uh, I'm not going to show that just because it is going to be a little bit boring. And I don't want you guys to uh, be bored of my fails here. No! Oh my god. Here we go. I don't even know if that did any damage to him though. I kind of learned his attacks, so I think he should be good. Oh, I missed that one. Get out of there, buddy. There we go. And oh no no! Wow, that was too close. Too freaking close for comfort. Alright, he's gonna try this again. Thankfully, at least now we know how it works. Oh my god, he almost got me. Nope! <laughs> and he almost got me again. He's really strong though. No! Wow, his attack changed. The thing is, he's almost done. We're definitely doing much better now than we did the, the first time we actually encountered him. No! So much better now, look at that. <laughs> We're fine, buddy, don't worry about it. Look at that. We're absolutely destroying him. And he's done. Easy. Easy. I'm saying easy, but I died so many times, though. And what's really happening, though? A silent servant has been vanquished and their soul power added to yours. Your bomb spell now no longer damages you, only your foes. Oh, I like it. And this is exactly what just happened to us as we entered inside this uh, this dungeon. That is so cool. Alright, well, uh, that was definitely worth it. It was absolutely worth it coming back here. And I love it. Alright, let's uh, make our way back because I still have so much more to do. So let me make my way through uh, this side. And apparently in today's episode, we're actually unlocking so many new things. Another Sunday victory. I'm impressed by your courage and vigor, Flea Link. Once again, I reiterate, I have been stuck here for such a long time and accomplished so little in comparison to you. You have given this old crow hope for this first time in many, many years. Just one more giant soul and we can open this door. I suggest you head west. Atop the mountain, you will meet the ancient beast of untold years. Alright buddy, uh, let's just try to get to that beast then, but the problem is, I'm not quite sure exactly how to get there. I keep on trying to figure it out, but um, I don't really know. I wish I could be able to open up this gate over here. I know that this one is taking me to the witch's urn. And I wonder if I have to go there. At the same time, there's an entrance over there. Uh, I don't see anything on this side. Oh, you know what? I think I figured it out. I think uh, if the top there is going to be the witch's urn, if I go through here, this one's going to be the summit. Yes, look at that. We finally got it. And if I read this one, to the stranded sailor. Yeah, this is where we got to go. So let's just turn this one on because this is the final thing that we didn't get previously. And uh, we can keep on going through here. Awesome. Finally. Finally got it. At least I hope so. <laughs> right? Yes, this is it. There we go. Finally. Uh, any passages through here? No. Oh, wait. Look at this. There's another one of these things at the bottom here. And I don't know if I can actually get to it. Can I? How the heck do I even get to this thing? Hmm. Yeah, I would love it if I could grab this shrine. But uh, it doesn't look like I can get there. Alright. Anyway, let's keep on going then.
This is it. And I'm pretty sure after we're going to be done with this one, we're also going to be unlocking the ability of using these crosses that we keep on finding in the game. There we go. We got 11 seeds. That is awesome. Uh, I'm guessing we got to have to go to the bottom there. But first... Yeah, I'm actually confused. Never mind. These guys are guarding something. So that's probably going to be a boss battle over there or something. Where am I even going? Hold up. I'm uh, I'm lost. You know what? Let me go to the bottom first because I feel like that may be something that I need to do. Come on, Crow. Oh, never mind. Hmm. Oh, look at that. There's a coin on that sarcophag or whatever that is. So what I'm guessing is that, again, as I was saying, we are going to unlock the brand new ability here to use the crosses. And these things are probably going to allow me to teleport from one cross to the other. And that's how I'm also going to grab the artifact. Alright then, buddy. Let's keep on going then. We got this. <laughs> Pothead. Hey, buddy. What are you doing here? Hey, big face. How goes your adventure? I'd like to stop by and strand the sailor to refresh my socks of Jerson's delicious soup. He's an odd fella, but a great chef. <laughs> Alright, buddy. Let's see what this is all about. I'm guessing he's talking about that guy on the left side there, but I gotta figure out a way to get to him. Uh, first, let me make my way through this cave. There we go. Awesome. And we got ourselves another collectible. There we go. You found an adventure journals. It's very damp. The pages seem to be stuck together. Oh man, seriously? I was really intrigued of trying to uh, read that. And look at this, a teddy bear apparently. So I'm gonna have to figure out a way to get to that one as well. I'm really curious to see what my brand new ability that we're gonna be able to get, uh, what this is gonna do. And yeah, just as I thought, look at that. We are gonna need to use these crosses in order to uh, go from one side to the other and grab that teddy bear. Ooh, hold up. Let me activate this thing first of all. This way we are going to be able to go back and forth through here. And we got a really cool mask. Look at that. You, re you received the Grunt Old Mask. It seems this Grunt is royal to a new leader now. Hey, buddy. Hello again, little birds. Me come far and wide, see many things. World outside, very beautiful. Love, laugh, live. That all Grunt wants. <laughs> I feel like um, we're probably getting close to the end of the game here, the final boss, just because we're kind of meeting every every little everyone that we uh, saved previously. Whoa! <laughs> oh, Betty, my beautiful Betty. <laughs> what the heck? So this is not the chef. This is just a drunken guy. This is probably chef. It is Jefferson. Greetings, fellow bipeds. My name is Jefferson, a humble bartender and seafood enthusiast at your service. Could these human hands prepare you a delicious meal today? Uh, yeah, sure. Great. One delicious meal coming right up. I sure do love preparing food with multi-digital mammal hands. Now look at us. <laughs> what the heck is that? Now, let me tell you a little something while you ingest nutrients. To the west of the cemetery, behind the rock, you will find the passage. But it requires some kind of powerful force or explosion to break open. I think he's talking about the one that we already opened. A secret lies submerged beneath the moat in the east of the Iron Witch. Opening it will require bringing an open flame to the East Garden. Behind the powerful witch's house lies a secret, accessible from the west side. To find it, you must look for opening in the hedge. That's all I have for you right now. Oh man, I really love this. So uh, you're kind of coming uh, towards to this guy in order to discover some secrets around the map that you're going to be able to explore. That is really cool. Alright then, let's keep on going then. That was really cool. So apparently I am going to be able to get to this guy back again if I want to get some information about more secrets. Uh, this way to the mountaintops via Castle Lockstone. Uh, no secrets back here. What about for this side, though? Oh, never mind. This one's gonna require me to have the ability once again in order to use. 
Whoa, look at that freaking sword. And in order to get that, apparently we are going to need to use the crosses. Oh, that's going to be awesome. Well, hello there, fellow traveler. Go on, tell all how your adventure's going. Got any exciting tales I could knock out a song about? Reason being, I'm up on these mountains seeking inspiration for my next uh, masterpiece. I heard a monster living up in the mountaintops. Can you believe it? That drunk fellow outside the stranded sailors uh, says they lost his love to the beast. Fancy that. The way I see it, there's gotta be one heck of an epic uh, ballad awaiting for me up there. If only I could smash up these blasted rocks blocking the path. Don't worry about it, buddy. I gotcha. And the way I'm gonna do it is by doing this. Here we go. Look at that, mate. You smashed it. You're a legend. You might even be inspiration for my next big tune. Yeah, if it's all the same to you, I might just tag along on your adventure. See you around. <laughs> Alright, bud. Hopefully, he's gonna be able to actually give me some stuff in the future. Um, hmm. What was the point of smashing this ice, though? Yeah, probably this ice is gonna be hiding something from me later on. But for now, let's just keep on going. I mean, look at this. There's so much ice around here. I do feel like some of it will hide something from me eventually. Nothing here. Whoa, not only that, but apparently, look at this. This is hiding a passage for me. Here we go, a secret. That is awesome. And yes, we can go ahead and activate this. There we go, let's activate the stairs. Let's activate this as well. And let's also get ourselves the soul from here. Perfect. Alright, that was epic. Now, before I'm gonna go on back, I do have to use uh, this sewer and see where this is gonna take me to. Also, nothing back in this one. There we go, buddy. Alright, so if I keep on going through this sewer, this one is taking me to yet another. Ooh, hold up, look at that. And I think we're gonna have. Four out of four of these shrines. That is awesome. I'm really curious to see what this is going to unlock and give me. The ancient shrine offers you a shard of the magic crystal. The complete crystal fills your soul with power, raising your magic capacity. Hmm. Oh, so apparently there's going to be even more. That's, that's not it. I mean, just because we got 4 out of 4 the first time, uh, we did manage to get our powers a little bit stronger. But, apparently we can keep on finding more. And I'm pretty sure I saw a lot more of these shrines around that we're going to be able to unlock. And I'm definitely going to have to make my way to them eventually. But for now, let's just keep on going. Hmm. I don't know what's the reason of uh, this sliver over here, but anyway. Let's just uh, go back through here. And keep on climbing up. I'm really happy that we actually got ourselves the ability and got stronger here. Uh, hold up. I know there was a passage to the top. Oh, is this another shrine? It is not. Huh. What's the point of coming up here then? Hmm. Yeah, I got no idea what this is. It feels like a shrine, though. Interesting. Alright, buddy. Anyway, let's keep on going through here, then. Oh, I think we got... Uh, yeah, I think we can actually charge up more magic. Yeah, we can definitely carry more on us, because uh, I'm guessing previously we could, only, we could only carry four? Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. I don't I didn't even know. Alright, nothing hiding back there, unfortunately. Let's keep on going through here. There we go. Look at this, we're going inside the castle. I love it. Alright, so there is going to be a puzzle over here that's going to allow me to open this up, I guess. Hmm. Let's see. So if I suck this one, this one, and this one. Is that it? Oh no, never mind. That's one. If I pull this one, it opened. There we go. And the question is, how do I open up this one? Because I really want to get that open as well. 
I got a clue, but first of all, let's just activate the portal. There we go. Uh, we got 700 of these points. I could make my way back home uh, to get an upgrade. And apparently there's going to be some... Oh, wait, what? Ah, look at this. So there is a soul over there that we got to release. Interesting. I just got to figure out a way to open up that gate. And I'm guessing the same thing for here as well, right? Probably. All right, you know what? Let me make my way back home then. Let's see if we can actually purchase ourselves a few more upgrades before we keep on going. So this one is uh, Castle Lockstone. All right, buddy. Let's see if I can get myself some more upgrades through here. And look at all the collectibles that we added. I love it. All right, so the next upgrade that we can that we can purchase actually is this one because we only have enough money for this. So we'll go ahead and grab it. There we go. Now our magic is going to be a little bit more powerful, which is great. Because, of course, we're using a lot of our magic. Uh, hold up. This is not the right path. I got to go to the top. There we go. And ultimately go through this one. All right. And we're back. Hey, again, pal. I hope you don't mind me tagging along. Seems like we'll need to find a way through this old fortress if you want to get up the mountain. Well, I say we, I mean uh, you. I'll just hang around here and work on the lyrics for my next big tune. Let me know if you find a way up. All right, buddy. Um, hmm. So, is this like a... Uh... Yeah, it doesn't look like it. I thought it was going to be a sewer. I'm going to be able to go inside. So, there is a passage through there, one through here, and one through the left side here. I guess uh, we can check on this one first. But of course, in order to grab it, we are going to need the ability to connect to these freaking things. Hmm. There we go. Another seat. Uh, let me also make my way on this side because I do want to open this up and see what it's going to take me to. Ooh, look at that. More souls. Awesome. Uh, other than this, uh, it is an entrance over there that I can use. Hold up, before I go there, is there anything up here as well? It definitely looks like it. Yeah, look at that. Interesting. Ah, this one is allowing me to open up something. And that something is that entrance. There we go. Alright, not bad. Um... Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get to that key, unfortunately. And what I'm going to do here is make my way back to this side because there is another passage through here. There you go, buddy. And this one's going to take me to... Ooh, enemies. Awesome. Whoa, I killed that one instantly? Seriously? That was epic. And, of course, he got me. That's fine. We're fine. No! No! Dang it! God dang it, dudes. What am I doing? Alright, buddy. Come on. It's time for you to die. And I almost died as well. Oh my god, never mind. <laughs> Dang it. All right, and we're back. Let's try this again. Are you kidding me? How? How did he got me? There we go, there we go. We got him, we got him this time. Are you kidding me? I almost died again. Come on, dude. I got one, eight, two health left. I gotta try to do my best here. Alright, he's done. He's done. And this is gonna definitely be the final boss here that we're gonna have to uh, defeat. Get out of there, buddy. Perfect. There we go. 
Man, you guys have no idea how many times I filled this. Of course, I'm not showing that in my video just because it's a little bit boring see me fill over and over again. Entombed alongside the old lords, I suppose some will call it an honor. I will call it a tragedy. Alright, there we go. The first soul has been collected and I see some really wicked things back there. I'm pretty sure that in this one, the final boss is most probably gonna be the Lord of the Doors. I don't know why, but uh, I really, really strongly believe that's gonna be it. Alright, let me use this one to re uh, regain health. Let's keep on going through here. Hmm. Here lies Lord Lockstone, the first Lord of Doors to make a deal with death. Their legacy is inestimable and their reign absolute. A cold ruler concerned with the law and order who, cons who consolidated power and will go to build the foundation of the Hollow Doors. Hmm. Uh, let me just turn this one on. Ah, uh, there we go. So we gotta activate three more in order to open up this lock here in, this, in the middle. That is really cool. Oh! What the? What is that? This is the resting place of we, the Lord of Doors. I am Lord Lockstone, for whom the script was named. We Lords of Doors were an anomaly, a mistake of the universe, some might say. But is that not an apt description of all life? A mistake of the universe, one which grows and thrives, existence born into consciousness. And to preserve that consciousness is the most important and noble goal. That was actually really cool. Love that. All right, I feel like I kind of saved it somehow. I don't know why, uh, but of course, look at that. Because we do not have these uh, the cross ability, I cannot keep on going through here, unfortunately. So I got to make my way back here uh, once I'm gonna get that ability unlocked. All right, well in that case, uh, let's keep on going. I'm guessing through here. we go and not there I actually have to make my way on the left side here and see where this is gonna take me to oh god oh snap seriously wow that is new hmm interesting I feel like we're probably gonna have to hit those things somehow what if I hit this one Aha, uh -huh. and from here we gotta hit that one. There we go, that was cool. But of course, unfortunately, because we don't have the ability, uh, we cannot get to that side. So somehow I gotta make my way to the top here, first of all. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> Seriously, this is kinda epic. Alright, hold up buddy. Hold up, I gotta get to this side now. Just like that. And we got it. There we go. That was pretty cool. Alright, we opened up another doorway. Let's keep her going. And I feel like there's gonna be another soul that we're gonna have to open up here, right? Yeah, release another one. No! What the heck is that? That's a brand new one. Hold on a minute, buddy. Here we go. Actually, this guy's looking like a crow, eh? Huh. He's got a crow mask on. It's pretty epic. He was really easy to kill, though. No, no, no. Get out of there, buddy. Gotta avoid the gas. We gotta avoid the gas. No, no, no. Oh my god. You again, dudes. Come on. Oh my. Ugh. I hate these archers. There we go. There we go. We got him. We got him. Oh my freaking gods. No, 
Nope. <sighs> Almost got me. There we go. Man, I gotta go ahead and get myself some health because I am almost dead. And I definitely don't want to spawn all the way back. But at least, we got another solo. It's so cold. Oh, man. Alright, we got the second soul. We got two more to go. It is not that difficult so far. I was definitely kind of messing up a lot there because uh, I couldn't keep on going. But... Hmm. Ooh, never mind. We're all the way back then. To the main entrance. Awesome. And you know what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to go back home. Get myself some health back. Uh, let's see. We only have 460 souls. So um, there's absolutely no, uh, nothing I can actually upgrade. So let's keep on going then. And then we're done with that one. We can definitely keep on going through this next portal. Which is going to be here. Hmm. What's up with these lasers? Oh, no, 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 no. Wow. How am I supposed to get past this? Because he's going to keep on moving exactly as I keep on moving through here. This is epic. Look at that. All right, we got a seed. Perfect. Next up, I got to get to that one on the left. Oh, was that it? It is. Hmm. Okay, this was actually pretty easy. Alright, next up, we gotta interact with this one. Next up, I'm gonna have to make my one on the left side here, interact with this one. Next up, with this one. And ultimately, it's the one all the way back there. I mean, this is really easy, to tell the truth. Really easy indeed. All you gotta do here is just wait for these things to uh, pop up on, and that's it. Alright, we got another one. Uh, you know what? Let's just use a plant here. Why not? We got so many. We got 12 of them. Pretty good. Alright, so first thing is first, we gotta take out these archers. Oh my... Freaking God, dude. <laughs> I love that we can take uh, put some damage to these fellas from the distance. Easy. There we go. Let's just put some damage to this fellow from distance. Actually, we cannot do it anymore. Never mind. There we go. We're definitely getting used to this. Alright, let's just read this first of all. Here lies Lord Theodore, the first successor in the lineage of lords. Their transition to power was smooth, and the reign, egalitarian. Remember for their fair nature, enforcing better working conditions for reapers. Huh. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, release another spirit. My life is ending, but this lord plans to live forever. It doesn't feel fair to me. I knew it! So, uh, the enemy, the final enemy in the game, the final boss, is definitely gonna be the, the Lord of Doors, the one that we actually chatted with. I knew it. Right, and ultimately, we're gonna need to find ourselves some um, the last soul. Can I also uh, interact with another spirit here? Oh, I think I will, yeah, but from the other side. Hmm. Oh, uh, there is a passageway through here. Unfortunately, I cannot get to the other side from here, as I can see, yeah. There's no ladder or anything. Right, and of course, we are going to need the cross ability in order to uh, use these bridges. Oh god, almost fell down. Uh, what are these going to do to me, though? Yeah, I definitely cannot go there. Alright, never mind. In that case, let's see what this is all about. 
So that's one. That's two. That's three. And we got it. Easy. There we go. Alright, look at that. We got ourselves the first key. That was awesome. Not quite sure exactly where I gotta use this key, but I am gonna definitely keep on going here. And I feel like I gotta go... Ooh, hold up. I see the ability to go down here in order to go through uh, the sewer. And this sewer is definitely getting me all the way to the top here so I can get myself more souls. Awesome. And it's also gonna take me to the right side. So let's grab this one first of all. Uh, can I go back in? Well, if I kind of missed that. I want to go back in, yeah, because I think I saw another passage that I can take with the sewer. So if I go back down here. There we go. So if you keep on going to the top here, this is going to take us to that. But apparently there's another one taking us to... Ooh, look at this. This is a uh, different location. Actually, I've already been here before, but the sewer is actually taking me pretty far away. Look at that. What? Are you kidding me? We're going so far with this one. And there we go. We got now the ability to carry this thing, whatever this is. We found an ancient crown. It feels unusual to the touch, as if it once contained life. I mean, it did, right? Once contained right life. Unfortunately, we cannot really use it or anything. Uh, these are all our collectibles so far. Oh, you know what? I said that uh, I wish there was a way to know how many collectibles there are going to be in the game. Well, uh, this is it. These are all the shiny things. So uh, we're going to need uh, 2, 4, 5, 7, 12 more. we got to find 12 more, apparently. Interesting. All right, we got another one of those. And of course, we're going to need to find another soul in order to open up this uh, final gate here so that we can get ourselves another upgrade. Alright, well, we know where that's going to take us to, but next up, this one is going to take us to the final soul, right? Or at least it should. Wait, what? I already came for here. I'm confused. I am actually confused. Interesting. Not to mention, I haven't opened up all the passages through here in order to open up this thing. Hunting souls for breakfast, lunch, and, uh, no. <laughs> Alright, buddy. Now, haven't I actually been through here? Hmm. Now, let me see if I can figure this out. Do I need the key somewhere on this side? I mean, there's another key over here. Oh, never mind. There's the key that we needed. Perfect. Alright, this one's gonna allow me to put a seat on, but I don't need it just yet. And this is gonna be the final soul. Perfect, because... Oh my god. Uh, because we definitely need that. Eventually, I wanna get that soul going over there. <laughs> These things are epic, the way they're actually uh, taking each other out. No! Wow, dude. Seriously, dude, he didn't die. This guy is too strong. There we go, now he's dead. Hold up, let me take uh, this fella from the distance here. Why not? Get some damage into him. Love it. And this fella is almost dead as well. <laughs> there we go, we got him. And we got ourselves the final uh, soul here, which means we are going to unlock yet... The final upgrade. Posted in this fortress, I have learned a great deal about the old Lord of Doors. Still, don't much care for them. <sighs> All 
All right, there we go. We finally got it. This was uh, not an easy task, but finally it is over. So let me make my way now to the uh, doorway. Let's also put a plant in here and also why not gain some health. Because we are going to have to fight some uh, enemies next. And the great thing about this is that now we're finally going to be able to use these crosses. At least not just yet. I do have to uh, finish up the challenge first of all. Alright, be careful, Living Reaper. I will, buddy. I know that this one is going to be a really difficult one, but uh, I have to do it eventually. There we go. <laughs> what is he doing? He was just waiting for it. Look at that. He actually kind of dived inside. That was awesome. In the previous uh, times, we actually got ourselves some upgrades. He was kind of scared, waiting for the attack to come. But now, he knew exactly what he was going into. Oh, this one is red. Oh my god. What the heck? The enemies are different. Oh, snap. Yep, 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 yep. I got it. I got to pay attention. And I also have to try to take this one out here. There we go. This was definitely something, eh? All right, that is done. Oh god, I gotta go, I gotta go. Nope. Get out of there, buddy. Perfect. I'm putting so much damage to them, though. I love it. I'm really strong right now. Look at that. Easy. Oh, no. Perfect. No, these fellas throwing rockets at me. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Hold up, buddy. I'm gonna use these ones. Perfect. Use these ones and this one. Actually, I kind of like these guys shooting their rockets at me. Just because I'm making so much use of them. Look at that. And he's done. Unfortunately. Oh no, no, not this fella. I don't have enough life to fight this guy. Buddy. I mean, I don't know what he's trying to hit there. <laughs> he's trying to hit something, but not me. That was easy. Never mind. I kind of got scared because of the size of him. A gift to a fellow crow to aid you in your quest. Man, finally we got this one. We're now gonna be able to explore so many places because we're gonna have this uh, brand new ability here. I love it. Hookshot spell acquired. Press down to switch to the hookshot. And this is the one. Awesome. Finally. Finally. Now I don't see. Oh, I almost fell down. I don't see any um, need for a hookshot right here. But there's probably going to be a, a need for a hook shot around the main area, right? Actually, yeah, look at that. We got to use it there. Wow, this is so cool. This appears to be Reaper's abandoned lookbook. The removal of the legacy doors has seriously impended my investigation into the di disappearance of the Reaper in the redacted region. This whole process of uh, transferring to the new system has been a nightmare. I have found evidence that many workers were active in the region when the order were given to cut them off. More worrying still is that the active reaping mission in the area was also purged from the system. Somewhere out there, in a soul, somewhere out there is a soul that has not been reaped on time. It's a recipe for disaster, that's for sure. We all know what happens to the souls they remain alive past their uh, death dates. 
Now, what I'm noticing is that when I'm using uh, this thing to transfer from one side to the other, I'm actually not wasting souls, which is great. And I really thought that that would happen. Unfortunately, no collectibles back here, and I was really hoping for that. There we go. Oh, man, this brand new ability that we just got is the best. Love it. And look at this. We got all the way back to where we actually started the game. Inspect. Click. Seems like the phone isn't connected to anything. Huh. <laughs> I really thought that that was gonna work. Alright, so we got this going. Uh, nothing on this side. Can we talk with this guy? That Vega reckons that something big is going to happen here soon. You know anything about that, buddy? Um, no, but uh, we're definitely getting really close to the end game. So uh, definitely something bad is gonna happen very soon. Oh, look at these fellas. <laughs> what are they doing here? Those ones are sleeping. I don't know why anyone was complaining. These things are adorable. And they like the same TV. Show us me. <laughs> I'm just relaxing, feeding the birds. But none of my friends want to eat off the floor. <laughs> Alright, uh, so how many points we got? We got 800. I feel like we can actually get ourselves another upgrade. I'm not completely sure. But first... Let me make actually my way over here and see what it's gonna take me to. Because I feel like I may be able to get myself more uh, collectibles. Man, this brand new ability, I love it. This is the best. Look at that. Would have never been able to get here before. And we got ourselves another one of these miniature doors. What? He found a skill model of a Reaper door. It doesn't function, as well, and was probably made to evaluate the design for the modern doors that Reapers use today. This appears to be a Reaper's abandoned logbook. I'm done with this job. I found the notes from the investigators looking into the events around the disappearance of Reapers and the closure of all those active doors. This Lord of Doors doesn't give two shinies about any of the crows. What is this all for? Myself and a few of the other Reapers I've convinced to join me are heading into the Forbidden Region to see what we can find. I hope we can start a new life without the commission. A new challenge awaits us. Huh. Interesting. Alright, and from here, I just gotta make my way back uh, the same way, apparently. I actually thought there's gonna be a different way back, but anyway. Can I go there? No. Right, that was awesome. That was truly awesome indeed. These creatures are so colorful. They're giving me migraines. And they're coming through the doors that you left open. Honestly, you're turning my office into a dimensional Swiss cheese. <laughs> what the heck? Alright, and other than this, I think uh, we are completely done to this side. Interesting. Man, I absolutely love it that we got so many upgrades though. So many things done. And ultimately, we can spend 900 coins uh, in order to get myself the magic more powerful. So let's go ahead and do that. Awesome. All right, everybody. Well, you know what? I think uh, this is where we're going to have to end up the uh, episode of uh, Death Door so far. And when we come back in the next one, we are going to keep on exploring here. I think I'm going to want to make my way to other locations now that we have this brand new ability. I'm pretty sure we can actually unlock new places that we couldn't before. And I'm really excited about that. But anyway, that being said, thank you all very much for watching. If you all enjoyed this, make sure you smash the like button below, as that definitely helps the channel up and lets everybody know that you enjoyed it and, the, and they should also watch it too. And if you guys are new here to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, do consider doing that and help us uh, reach our goal of subscribers down below, that you can see down below in the description. And that being said, thank you all very much for watching and I will see you all in the next one really soon. Bye everybody!